Hey, this is Adam from Switchboard, and uh, in this video, I want to introduce you to Canvas. Switchboard Canvas is an API-driven dynamic image generation tool, and that is a mouthful. What does that even mean? What that means exactly is that you can create images that are driven by data. Uh, so for in this example, I have this nice quote image. I can replace uh, this quote text, the author, uh, this background image can all be specified dynamically in real time to create a new image. Uh, I have a classic meme image here, two elements, an image and some text. These can be replaced uh, in real time to create new images. So how do you get uh, data into uh, the images that you want to create. Well, first of all, you create a template using the template designer in Switchboard Canvas, and each of these elements uh, can be replaced with data from a different source. Now, in terms of the source, you've got a couple of options. The first is that you can call the API directly and supply the data directly. Uh, secondly, you can use a no-code tool such as uh, Zapier. There's a few of these out now that you can use, but essentially you can then use Zapier to connect Canvas to, in Zapier's case, you know, over 3,000 other tools, some of which that you're probably already using. Uh, so tools such as uh, Google Sheets, Airtable, Notion, messaging applications like Slack and Discord, you can really connect anything to Canvas to supply the data to make the dynamic images. So who is uh, this for exactly? Well, Switchable Canvas is really for anybody that wants to create images automatically or at scale. Anybody that wants to create images that are connected to data or a different source. Um, if you work in social media, for example, um, and you are responsible for creating a ton of content, um, you can use Canvas to bulk create a ton of images um, in advance of when they are needed. Um, that improves your workflow, that makes you uh, more efficient, um, especially if the assets that you are creating um, feature um, data that is uh, changing or is topical, such as uh, news headlines, the weather, sports calls, uh, anything of that nature. It's also super useful if you uh, just want to add some consistent branding to a number of images that you already have. So uh, in this example, we've got a very simple logo in the corner, a very simple border, but that image, the main image in the background there, can be replaced in real time with uh, images that you already have. If you upload images to YouTube, and you want to create a consistent thumbnail, then you can use a canvas to build a template. And then the title, description, uh, background image can all be uh, specified in real time from images that you've uploaded to YouTube to create a consistent thumbnail. It's another pretty good use case uh, for canvas. If you're responsible for a public address system or any information that goes on a digital billboard, uh, you can use Canvas to create images that feature that dynamic information um, for use on those types of systems. For example, uh, if you have uh, advertising images and you need to apply consistent branding or a logo in a consistent fashion to each of those images, you can use Canvas to streamline that process for you. Uh, also, if you um, do a lot of online streaming, if you're on Twitch and you have a UI that has a lot of uh, information on it that is updating in real time, again, Canvas can be used um, to create images that, that can then be used on your streaming UI. You can create an overlay uh, that features images that contain information really from, from any source. So if you have relevant information that you want your streamers to see, uh, Canvas can help you create that also in real time. Now, two of my favorite features are the responsive templates and the translation capability. Now, by responsive templates, what we mean is that each element uh, in the template can be positioned so that regardless of the size of the actual image, the elements stay in the right place. They are pinned in certain locations so that regardless of the size, uh, the image that gets created just sort of works every time. Um, you can see here, if I resize this um, to a square image, 1080 by 1080, um, everything just kind of works. And you have 
a great degree of control over what happens uh, when images are resized. Now, using the Switchboard Canvas API, you can actually make one request and in that request specify up to five different sizes. So one request can create up to five images of different sizes. So even if you're just using Canvas um, to produce images of different sizes, again, that can uh, greatly uh, increase your efficiency. Now, the translation capability, um, again, is one of my favorite features. Uh, any text element within a template dynamically can be translated in uh, over 70 languages. So if you're responsible for uh, some social media content and you just need to produce that uh, in different languages, you can do that very easily with the Switchboard Canvas API. Lastly, if you're familiar with Canva, you can bring in any designs that you may already have uh, in there and import those into Switchboard Canvas. Um, it's important to note that images from Canva are imported as single uh, images. So leave off any elements that you wanna make dynamic and add those directly in Canvas. Thank you for checking out this introduction into Switchboard Canvas. Uh, if you want to find out more, please visit our site, uh, switchboard.ai. You can chat with us using the chat button in the bottom right-hand corner. And if you want to get started, uh, there's a 14-day free trial, no credit card required. We'd love to have you check out uh, the tool, and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks again for joining me, and we'll see you on the next one.